Hey, Walking Dead fans, welcome back to the channel. This is James in Nashville. And in this video, let's talk about something that we've always talked about. We may continue to talk about it, especially in the events unfolding after the main season ends, as far as the spinoff story goes. And there's been theories, there's been talk about it so much, some of us may even be kind of sick of it. But yeah, we're talking about the season one walkers, how they acted versus what Aaron said in the Comic-Con trailer for The Walking Dead season 11 part C, the last eight episodes of the main show. And it doesn't even really need an explanation what I'm talking about. I'm talking, of course, about season one, how the walkers acted versus later seasons. And yeah, it was a Frank Darabont thing. Uh, he started it. I think it's funny that they kind of play off of his idea from the start to actually continue the story at the end because of what Aaron said and all that kind of stuff. But yeah, we're talking about season one, Walkers, Summer, the teddy bear girl. You know, she reached down, picked up a teddy bear. That's something from her former life she shouldn't know. Little girl. Oh and that opening scene was definitely, you know, it was kind of scary. It's like, wow, that's kind of scary. When she started running at him, he was going, little girl, little girl, right? And that was kind of scary. So we thought, oh, man, this is cool. But then they took it away because they fired Frank Darabont. But they've picked it back up, that idea, one of Frank's ideas, and that's one of the ways they're ending the season and maybe even continuing the story. Other air quote, smart walkers that we had, of course, was Morgan's wife. She tried to turn the doorknob on Rick's neighbor's house. That's where Morgan was, not his house, but Rick's neighbor's house. And I guess the wife had been there also, and that's somewhere, you know, she had got bitten and she was just roaming around outside. But that's why she knew to go try to open the door is she had been there before. Or she knew her husband and son from her former life were in there. You know, or something like that. So she had some smarts about her as well. The walkers climbing the fence and kind of running when they were in Atlanta. And of course, the one picked up the rock and tried to break the glass on the door trying to get into them. So there are so many instances, especially in season one and maybe the beginning of season two. And some weird acting walkers as well. You could point to the church with the people sitting there in the pews. You know, we had the guys sitting on the bus, which was weird in the season one, but we got these church people sitting in the pews, which is kind of weirder. And when they turned around, yeah, was that creepy? That was super creepy, but just unusual. So let's check out again what Aaron said in that trailer from Comic-Con. Heard stories, walkers that can climb walls and open doors. I was never sure if they were just stories. And we know Aaron had been outside of the walls of Alexandria, you know, checking out other communities, going out into the wild world, and he could have easily heard those stories. And as soon as we heard that, I think as fans, we said, oh, that's retconning season one walkers. But now let's look at some key points of what um, the World Beyond France post credit scene told us. One, we know that it started over there. And two, they tried to fix it and made it worse, or they made these enhanced zombies. I know we've been using the word variant, but I'm not sure that's the correct word. They may be variant walkers, but when you start talking about the disease itself or the virus or whatever it is being a variant strain, I don't know if that's the correct way to say that. But that post credit scene made it out like they started the whole thing globally. Okay, we got the regular walkers, but then they tried to fix it. And in France, they made it uh, worse. And, you know, did that zombie that was created in the post credit scene that ran for the door, was it just smarter? And, you know, we're, we're thinking it was a rage. It was like a rage zombie or something. Or was it just mad, you know, because it was smarter? And smarter isn't necessarily the word either. I think uh, the Walking Dead people have already told us in interviews, smart or smarter isn't the exact word they would uh, uh, put to this. But it does seem the French modified, you know, something, some, something, whatever they used to maybe start it. They tried to modify that or create a cure, whatever it was, and only implemented that to certain people. You know, that's why maybe over in France, we thought at the beginning when we first watched the post credit scene that every zombie, every walker was the rage kind, the fast kind over there. 
but I think it's just a select few. You know, they, they started the whole thing globally with the regular walkers, and then they sent out these teams, one to Toledo, Ohio in the USA. But they sent out these different teams to try to fix it, and they may have caused a different type of zombie everywhere they tried to fix it. Did they try to fix it with the same thing, or did each team have a slightly different version of the cure? But really, we just don't know all the details yet to put that together. We have had Angela Kang also say that these different ones are regional, possibly. So they're not everywhere. That's why not everyone has seen them. That's why you don't see them everywhere um, all around. There's just a few here and there. Some might have traveled. You know, we saw them in Atlanta. So if it's regional up around Ohio, kind of where it could have been started, the uh, attempt to cure it. Morgan's wife, the teddy bear girl, all that stuff happened in Atlanta. So they would have had to have another uh, group maybe go to Atlanta and have tried it there. Or some zombies from uh, Ohio way made it down as far as Atlanta. But listen to what Jenner said in the post credit scene. About these variant cohorts you referred to in our last communication. We haven't seen anything like that here at all. Nothing close. But it does seem the smarter walkers that Aaron speaks of could be or is related to the French group in Toledo and those walkers definitely being in the area they're in right now around Commonwealth. But if they did try different cures, we've got possibly a different kind of zombie in Europe, another different kind in the USA, possibly another one in, you know, South America, Australia, China. What are we really dealing with here and how will AMC and The Walking Dead present that story to us. Hey guys, I really hope I laid that out in a way you can understand it and be able to uh, discuss it down in the comments below. And you know I'll join you there. This is James in Nashville. As always, thanks for watching and stay tuned for more dead stuff.